Ariel Hawani for MMARated.com at the Affliction post-fight press conference with the man himself, Tom Atencio. It's been uh, several months, all the build-up, all the hype. Are you finally able to exhale now? Absolutely, yeah. Take a deep breath, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy right now. I'm like a kid in a candy store. It went off really well. Very excited about the, all the fights, and um, you know, now I start looking at the next one. Yeah, overall, when you look at best case scenarios, were you happy with the way everything turned out? Absolutely. I mean, there there are a few uh, you know glitches, but um, hopefully the fans didn't see them. Um, but the fights, eh, happy as can be, happy as can be. Do you mean glitches in terms of the televised broadcast or in terms of the fights? No, just in the, you know, the background, uh, things that the people don't see just working. Uh, this is a first event. It's a huge event for a first one. So, you know, just a you know, little stress level is high. But uh, other than that, I think, I think it went off well. Obviously, this is the first time you put on something like this. Um, were you any surprises? I mean, did it go kind of how you expected or was it like totally out there? You know, uh, just uh, putting the card together, uh, you never know what to ha what's going to happen. Um, so, you know, there were some fights where the people that uh, won were expected to win. So in that aspect, absolutely. But, you know, there were some hard fights, too. They didn't win easy, that's for sure. Every fight was pretty, pretty difficult. Now, obviously, the highlight of the show, Fedor defeating Tim Sylvia in a pretty convincing fashion. Were you surprised at how easily he disposed of him? No, absolutely not. Um, you know, I, I thought Tim had a. Um, what I mean by that is, is Fedor is the number one fighter heavyweight in the world. He proved tonight why he is. But having said that, uh, you know, I expected Tim to. Uh, Keep him off, you know, jab, keep him away. Um, no, I didn't expect him to beat Tim that easily. But, um, you know, to Tim's credit, if it, Fedor came out and fought and he executed his game plan correctly. And that's what it comes down to. Now, how about the crowd? I mean, a lot of people like to say, um, you know, Fedor's not a big draw in the U.S. And, uh, you know, Josh Barnett, no one knows who he is here anymore. Those guys were getting great reactions. Were you happy with the way the crowd reacted to everything? 100%. I think tonight proved that that's not true. I think tonight proved that Fedor and Tim, um, and Josh both have a huge following. They they the crowd was overwhelming for on Fedor's side than Tim Sylvia and Tim Sylvia has been and, uh, you know former UFC champion. Josh Barnett same thing. You know uh, Pedro's fought more here in the U.S. than than Josh has, uh, and and it proved tonight that the fans are for both Fedor and Josh. Obviously, the dream matchup is Fedor against Randy Couture. If that doesn't happen, are you looking at Josh Barnett against Fedor? Well, I think I have two options. I think I have Andre Arlovsky and I have Josh Barnett. So I think those are pretty good options. If it doesn't happen with Randy, uh, uh, you know, whether it doesn't happen with us or somebody else, you know, once Randy's problems are over, then we can talk. But, um, you know, those are two good options. Which one are you leaning towards right now? I think probably the fans want to see Josh fight Fedor. I think they have uh, similar styles, and I think that uh, that would be a good matchup. Are you uh, up to speed with what happened over in Las Vegas tonight? No, I'm not. I really don't want to know until tomorrow when I, when I watch it. So. Oh, really? Okay, you're actually going to watch it? Absolutely. You know, you can't deny what they've done for the industry. I don't think you can. And um, I'm, I, I'm a good friend of uh, James Irvin, so I want to know what happened. Uh, and and I'm, a, I'm a fan of, of uh, Anderson Silva, so I definitely want to see what happened. All right, and, and for the next show, when are you thinking? Are you thinking October still? We're looking at November. Uh, where the venue is, I don't know quite yet. Uh, once a paper is signed, I'm more than happy to let everybody know. Okay, final question before I let you go. Uh, Pay-per-view buys, what do you think it will be? I mean, obviously we like to speculate, but at the end of the day, what do you think it will be and what will you be happy with ultimately? You know, I have no clue when it comes to pay-per-view. Uh, I'll let you know on Monday. That's when I'll know, and I'm, I'll let you guys know as well. So uh, I, I think we did pretty well, but what pretty well is, we'll know Monday. All right, well, he is Tom Atencio, always gracious with his time. Uh, a great night for you and the industry as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.